<laughs> Nilikuwa tu kwa biashara unajua kazi ya kubeba chuma huwezi vaa suti. So ni samhe lakini nimeleta uh, mtume Paul ndi at least tunene neno la Bwana Bwana wabariki. Amen. Simpatie makofi mazuri. Hata kako sawa matutumie ile. Ah, nisaidie na Amen. Amen. Sisi tunasaketi kidogo kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Mimi naitwa Pastor Paul na kama nilivyotangulia kusema ya kwamba nimeokoka sana na uopa dhambi tu kwa sababu kwenda biguni sio Wakristo wengi wanasemanga tunaenda kwa imani. Lakini sio imani. Ni mpaka matendo, sinafuata nanga. That way the Bible says wakati tutakapokufa imani haitakuwa at work. Lakini actions sila tulikuwa tumefanya sitatufuata. Sema amen. Mimi ni mmoja wa Ageto Fefe na Sebre, Mia Masan, ni fire wengi ya wajui kile ma pastors wanaelewa sana sana tuko pale muranga and we are coming very soon ana kitu kinaitwa dunamis so soon and very soon kuna vitu sinatendeka kuna vitu sinapangwa na sikimalizika kabisa hata nyenye mtakuwa wa suhuda sema amen kwa sababu ni kitu kubwa so get of heaven already iko muranga bwana asifiwe ni vile sasa haiko well established but soon and very soon mtaona na mtaambiwa sema amen so kwa kwa sababu ya kukubaliwa na our bishop uh, edward na kanipatia nafasi ili nikaweze kusimama kwa madhabahu tena ili nikaweze kulileta neno la Bwana katika dhuhuri ya leo so naheshimu hiyo mafuta tena saidi na ninampenda kama papa yangu na ninaamini ya kwamba sitamlet down Say my man. So today I want to talk about two kind of pride that destroys people. Two kinds of pride that destroys people, especially Christians. Two kind of pride that destroys people, especially Christian. Why am I saying especially Christian? Because kuna wakati mkristo na kanga mahali anaona ni yeye tu na akiona ni yeye kile anafanyanga ni kujipiga kifua na kusema kama sio yeye bas vile amefanya angefanya bwana asifiwe two kind of pride that destroys people na nikasikawanya ni haina mingi sana ya kibuli lakini nimesi katu sikiwa tu that is spiritual pride spiritual pride and the pride of life na hizi ndizo vitu zimesuilia watu wengi katika safari yao ya kwenda mbinguni na katika hali pia ya kupatiwa kile wao wanaomba na Mungu kwa sababu kwa kuna wakati Mungu atapatia mtoto kile anaitisha kama haja koma the same case of our fathers awawesi wakatupatia ulivi kama tuja koma sio kimwili tu mpaka kiiloho alafu tuitishe ulivi hata kama sisi ni wana wa Mungu kama tuja koma to a certain level hata tuombe tuende kwa mlima kuomba 40 days fasting vg after vg prayer after prayer na hatuja machua tu a certain level ya kukubalia Mungu atubariki my friend afadhali ukule na ukunywe kwa sababu Mungu atafanya vile mpaka wakati tutakapokomaa 
naone bas you are capable unaweza pewa sasa pastor you have a son or a daughter huyo mtoto aitishe urithi saa hii utampea why yes the same case mungu anatuangalia anga wakati mwingine anaona ah uh-uh, bado wacha omba ombe Unajua wengi wanafikiria anga atikubarikiwa na Mungu ni kwa sababu uliokoka miaka mingi sana so Mungu atafanya comparison ya ile miaka umeokoka hapana Mungu anaangalia anga kukoma kwako kiroho ili akukapidhie kile ambacho unachokiomba kwa sababu akikupatia kama bado auja machua hai utatualipia mpaka hewa hapa posa unaona mtu baka ukiparikiwa mpaka na gari kwa parapara na unaona hiyo ni maji unapita tu na ujali Mungu anaangalia roho kama hiyo anasema bado Baka uh-uh. wakati utaona hiyo ni maji na iko kwa mtalo na hawa ni watu bas punguza pride eda pole pole tu pite alafu sipige watu maji amen two kind of pride that destroys people number one spiritual pride number two pride of life i will show you i will show you in the book of revelation 3 line number 14 the bible says wala wako pale katika kitabu cha ufunuo tatu mstari wake wa 14 inasema hivi inasema and unto the angel of the church of laodicea light those things says the amen the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of god i know thy work that thou art neither cold nor hot i would know what cold or hot kwa Kiswahili na kwa malaika wa kanisa lililoko Laodicea andika haya ndio anenayo yeye aliyo amina sahidi aliye muamin, muaminifu na wa kweli mwanzo wa kuhumba kwa Mungu mstari wa 15 naye nayajua matendo yako kwa kuwa huu mbalidi wala huu moto ingekuwa heli kama ungekuwa mbalidi au moto bwana asifiwe aya kaemuke kaemeni mwe kwata mwe ka kwata de mweke eh bwana asifiwe hili nilikaniza la laodesia na wakati hili kaniza la laodesia lilikuwa linaandikiwa haya maneno ni vile lilionekana liko na spiritual pride iko na kipuli sana na unaweza niuliza pasta unajaribu kusema namna gani wakati hili kanisa liliandikiwa la Laodicea zilikuwa kanisa sapa lakini hili kanisa limekuwa tia maanani sana lilitiwa maanani sana kuandikiwa hii maneno na ilikuwa lipuk ilikuwa ni kama kukemewa likaambiwa ya kwamba najua matendo yako ya kuwa ubalidi wala umoto ingekuwa heri kama ungekuwa mbalidi au moto likaandikiwa likaambiwa hii kanisa la Laodicea na yajua matendo yenu sana ya kuwa umbalidi wala umoto ingekuwa heri kama ungekuwa mbalidi au moto sema amen wakati hili kanisa lilipokuwa linaandikiwa haya maneno it was a rebuke to this church wakaangaliwa mienendo yao na vile wanavyofanya mambo wakasema hivi wakaambiwa higekuwa elimu ya moto ama mbalidi tuwajue kwa sababu hatuwaelewi mnavyofanya mambo hamueleweki mstari wa 16 basi kwa sababu na upungufu wala ubalidi wala moto nitakutapika utoke katika kinywa changu asema Yesu kwa sababu ya vile mlivyo amueleweki mko mbalidi ama moto basi mimi nitawatapika mtoke kutoka kinywani mwangu na hii maneno wanapoambiwa hivyo sio kwa upole na sio kwa upendo hapana it was a rebuke kwa sababu ya vile wamekuwa wakiendelesha maisha yao ya ukristo what meant them to be cold or not hot ni kwa sababu ya hili mambo number 17 
Nataka kukibia because of the time Kwa kuwa Wasema Mimi ni tajiri Say pride of life Say again Pride of life Because you have everything Kipuri na kujanga hivo Can I show you the reason why This is the reason Kwa kuwa wasema mimi ni tajiri na hii dia inaharibu wakristo wengi siku ya leo. Hii hali ya kuchipiga kifua na kusema I have the money, I have cars, I have plots. So I cannot be able to serve God because I have riches. Aha. Ni kibuli. This is pride of life. Kwa kuwa wasema mimi ni tajiri Nimejitajirisha wala sina haja ya kitu. Nawe ujui kwa kuwa wewe humnyonge na mwenye mashaka na maskini na kipovu cha uchi. Number 18. Nakupa sauri ununue kwangu bahapu iliyosafishwa kwa moto upate kuwa tajiri na mafasi mehupe upate kufaa aibu na huchi wako usionekane na ndawa ya macho ya kupaka macho yako upate kuona yani mpaka wanaelezewa vile watakavyofanya hili wasione kile ambacho kinachowafanya wawe na kiburi bwana sifiwe do you want to be exalted in life Do you want to be lifted in life? Then, lasima you avoid the pride of life. And the pride of life, ni wakati my brother is it done. Unapo jiona sasa uko sawa, waleti yako haikosi kitu. So mpaka ukiambiwa ufike kwa kanisa mapema, unajiangalia unasema mbando kwa sababu you have the money. So number 17, kwa kuwa wasema mimi ni tajiri. Nimejitajirisha wala sina haja na kitu nawe aujui kuwa wewe ni mnyonge. Hii ndio kanisa la Odesha iliadikiwa. Walipoonekana namna wanavyoishi na wanavyokaa na bado ni Wakristo. Lakini ilionekana ni vyema wakemewe. Lakini walikemewa kwa upendo. Unaona hii maneno ninayowaambia siwaambi kwa kuwakemea ili niwapotoshe ama niwafukuse mwende. Nawaambia kwa upendo hili mlekepike mwanza kujiona zaza kube mali ile niko nayo bado ni yake yeye Mungu. So aiwezi nisuhilia mimi kunifanyia Mungu kazi. Unanielewa kanisa? Kwani amupendi ijiri ya mafundisho mnataka niwaambie ninaona ukipalikiwa na ndege ninaona ukiendesa meli can i tell you something me before i pray for you for god to give you a meli and a aeroplane first i pray for you for god to give you a sea because meli i can't be parking kama gari na kuombea mungu kwanza akupatie a sea inaitangwa aje kwa kiswahili bahari Mahali meli wa inafanya nini inakaa but today hiyo ndio ijiri inayotakwa sasa hivi ungekuwa mmeinua mikono mnasema pastor topoa yes i possess what are you possessing before you possess that meli possess bona sifiwe that is the gospel but as for me me am a teacher of the word i give you the reality of life the reality of life kabla ya mungu akupatie hiyo meli omba parking ya meli na ni maji kabla Mungu acha kupatia ndege wacha kupatie mahali ndege huwa inatua kwa sababu haiwezi tosea parking ya gari sema amen so ijilio ni mzuri tutaigonga huko nje but when we come inside we teach you how and the basis na vile Mungu anataka tukae katika hali ya maisha sema amen i know you are not getting me but as we continue you will get me right are we together So akawaambia ya kwamba kwa sababu ya mali zenu hiki dicho kinawazuilia kwa sababu mnasema kwa kuwa wasema mimi ni tajiri wajipiga kifua wasema mimi ni tajiri pride of life kwa sababu kuna kila kitu wewe wajipiga kifua but now allow me to get in the pride of uh, the spiritual pride in the book of uh, Luke 18:11 na hii ndio nataka kuingia sana alafu tuombe tumalize the pride spiritual pride 
na hii iko horofa kwa makanisa mingi sana lakini ninajua iko kwetu get of heaven sema amen spiritual pride na hiyo imemaliza baka watumishi wa Mungu imeangusha wengi wengi walikuwa walianza na Mungu wakiwa wana kitu lakini wakati walipopalikiwa wakapata kitu pride ikainuka wakamsahau mwenye aliwapea bado yuko hai sema amen baka wakienda kuomba because of this pride wanaomba wakitanja mali zao katika hali ya maombi hawamuoni Mungu they pray wakitanja mali i have this i have that i have this so they put the condition as long as god you have given me this wealth they have nothing can stop me or stop you from hearing my prayer pride of amen let's go there and see hapa nitakaa kidogo because he dio nayo inamaliza wakristo wengi Luke 18:11 Mhm spiritual pride Ehe the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself God I thank thee that I am not as other men are spiritual pride Just imagine pastor tumekuja kwa madhabahu mimi na wewe lakini pandara ya tupeane oja setu kwa Mungu naanza kuomba nikisema hivi yule malizayo akasimama akiomba hivi moyoni mwake e Mungu na kushukuru kwa kuwa mimi si kama watu wengine Just imagine and this is a prayer you are making the altar Unaomba unasema Mungu nimekuja kwako nimenyenyekea na mimi sio kama Pastor Dan. Spiritual pride even when you are praying you have pride umeinua kipuli na certain level. Baka ukiomba uone wengine kama Mbola. Unaona wengine wametenda dhambi mbele zake Bwana. So mpaka ukikuja kwa madhabahu ujuoni shida zako na dhambi zako unaona za mwingine. What kind of our nonsense is this? Umekuja kwa maombi hapa kwa madhabahu kuomba Mungu lakini pandara umwambie sinda zako. Unaanza kuongea mambo ya mtu mwingine. Huyu ni mtu pia ako kwa maombi. Walikuwa watu wawili. But I want to I want you to see this. Ni wawili wamekuja kwa maombi kwa madhabahu kama hii. Wamekuja kuomba lakini perspective ya ile maombi wacha uone shinda na hii ndio iko na wakristo wengi ehe yule valisayo akasimama akiomba hivi moyoni mwake e Mungu na kushukuru kwa kuwa mimi si kama watu wengine wanyang'anyi what kind of a prayer is this if were you god can you answer such a kind of a prayer pastor Yaani nikuje hapa kuomba naambia Mungu mimi sio kama Steve mimi sio kama yule pasta mimi sio kama yule mama wewe hata kama wewe ni Mungu na wewe ni pinadamu unaweza jibu maombi kama hiyo So hii ni pride of life spiritual pride unafikanga mahali umeona uko na mali mpaka ukikuja kuomba ni kama unamwambia Bwana I have this So hakuna sababu inaweza kukusuhiria Mungu kujibu maombi yangu Haya ya ya akashukuru kwa kusema mhm mimi si kama watu wengine wanyang'anyi wadharimu wasinzi wala kama huyo mtosa usuru swali langu ni je na kuuliza nini na zota tumeletwa na shida zetu kwa madhabahu kuomba si mwambie bwana sinda zako uachane na mimi hata mimi kile kimenileta ni shinda zangu ni sawa uliniona nikitenda dhambi lakini huku niona nikienda kutupu this is the problem we have christians we keep on judging people because of what they did lakini tukasahau there was a time that person walikuwa mahali na Mungu akiomba msamaha mbele zake Bwana lakini wewe you keep there judging hata ukiomba uonangi kama akiomba Mungu atamjibu what kind of a pride is this na ukompando kwa madhabahu and you are that comfortable you are that comfortable before god na hii ndio inasuilia watu wengi wa kristo mungu akatai kuwainua 
wako pale unasikia mtu kile ako nacho kwa kanisa ni msunda bali sifu ya kanisa niliokoka miaka kumi na baka wa leo niko na sikati tama kinyario kagi marakero niliogaya ga kuaitwa imwe thaini wa motorire the rioga said the perspective ya kuyama hoya wame shejia thaini wa rioka lakini ukikuja kwa madhapa with this kind of attitude a a my sister enda ukule na ukunywe no need to pray mati ya kiomba na ni kwa madhabahu wanyang'anyi wadharimu wasinzi wala kama huyo mtosa usuru ehe kwa kipuli baka kufunga kifunga hey. ni kama na command mungu can you read number 12 ate i fast twice in a week so what Are you fasting to benefit God? No. What kind of a prayer is this? I fast twice in the week. I give tithe of all that I possess. It is okay. You have money you can give your tithe, but you cannot put conditions with prayer. Ah uh, ah, uh, US mwekea Mungu conditions. At God I fast twice per week so what? God has nothing to do with your fasting. What is looking it is your heart. Ile maombi unayoomba unayomba with what attitude? Bwana sifiwe. Yako inasema hivyo ama ni yangu? Yako inasema aje? Huyu jamaa anajipiga kifua kwa madhabahu. Anasema aje? Aje. Eh. Hey. Mm. So, kwa sababu unafunga mara mbili kwa week. So unafikia umejaribu sana na sisi tunaendanga 4 days per week. Na huyu mtu wako kwa madhabahu kama vile vile nilivyo. Tunaomba na anaanza kuwekea Mungu conditions. Pandaya ya aombe. Apeana mahitaji zake kwa Bwana. Ameanza kiburi. At I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Say pride of life. Because you have money, baka kwa maombi yako, you mix your money with pride. Ah. Uh-uh. God will never answer those questions or those prayers. Diposa unaona wa Kristo wengi hata ukienda kwa maombi kwa mlima. Sometimes when I go to prayer in Katoroni na wakati mwingine kwa naenda huko Evans, unapata wakati huko Katoroni, Leverage Kalanja, aliponipatia nafasi katika Lajawa, ni upili about prayer. Kwanza niliwaambia watu wale wote wako hapo wamekuja kuomba. Kama umekuja kuomba kumaliza mtu, odoka wede. Because those who This altar this altar was not built to kill people. Are you getting my point? Wakati unapokuja kwa hii madhabahu, haikutengenezwa ukuje uilie watu kwa madhabahu. Ati mnakuja mnashikana mikono mnasema tumekavunja, tumemaliza, tumeua na mnalipasheka hapo za ujinga wa kiroho. Can I tell you something? Hiyo maombi hakuna mahali na gongaga mnatokanga kwa hizo prayers mkienda nyumbani mnapata accident mnakufa nyote because can i tell you something whatever you plant so be careful what you are planting when you are studying this altar nikawaambia wesi kuja hapa tusikane mikono na pasta tumalize leverage ah uh-uh. ah So nikawaambia kama ulikuwa umeandika watu wale umekuja kumalizia kwa milima bas na kuomba in the name of the father son and the holy spirit please get out because you will die before them nikaona kumejaa baridi baka referred mwenyewe akainama he mudo tukoje ingatera interfaces but i told them the truth unaona hii madhabahu watu wengi usiwaishikana mikono ukiua na ukimaliza ate amefungwa hiyo kanisa ninaivunja nina aina aitaenda mbali in the name of Jesus who Jesus who Jesus in the name of who who Jesus ha, it's your mother who not Jesus 
I can see a lot of bars all over there. Bona, bona mtu asikia wivu a pastor, a ordained pastor. Kwa sababu nimefungua kanisa. And those people do, those who have bars all over, they don't fight. They don't fight. Prisina ikiisha kwake, anaendea kwa neipa. Lakini hapa speaker yangu ikichomeka kwa kuruzeti. Niambie pastor ndani, hey, indigenous speaker, ya ke. Lakini watu wa crap. Prisina ikiisha, because I was a drunkard. So nikitiza Prisina ikikosekana, na naambi wangojea kidogo. Ana pepa tasika, anaenda na exchange, analeta. The same case baga kwa duka. Unaenda kununua soda baridu na ambiwa hakuna, wacha nijukue kwa naipa. Ana exchange, anaacho wakiacha hiyo ingine kwa fridge. Lakini sisi wa kristo, ni kuwana. Tumepito na mataifa. Aya, aya. Mataifa imetupita. Kuna laja wana weni pasta unasikia. Ah, devi, digo diye. Can I tell you, either utakuja ama utakata, you are not hiding anything to that large hour. Ni wewe una benefit wakati unaposikia maubiri. Amen. The spiritual pride. Eh eh. I will show you another man. Eh. Ate mimi nafungo marambiri kwa juma. Utoa saka katika mapato yangu yote. So what? And the publican starting afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes and heaven but smooth upon his breast saying God be merciful to me a sinner. The other person, the other man wale walipo kuja na ye kwa madhabau alipo kuja kwa madhabau kuomba alisema hivi avele sipo prayer Lakini hile mtosa usuru Alisimama mbali Wala akudhubutu Ata kuinua macho yake mbinguni Mbali Alichipiga piga kifua Akisema E mungu uinuliwe Lathi mimi mwenye dhambi Can you see the difference of those two prayers? Huyu mtosa usuru Anakuja bele za buwana Anapiga magoti na anasema Buwana nione uluma Mimi mtenda Dhambi Sasi swali langu nje Najutulikuwa wawili Buwana unatanja huyu mwingine Kisema vile ye ni mbaya Nae huyu akanyanyekea Akaenda bele za buwana Haka muambia buwana Najua mimi ni mtenda dhambi Naomba unisamehe Can I tell you something? Can I tell you this? The man went down to his house justified. That is number 14. I tell you this. Man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be a base. And he that uplift himself shall be exalted. Say my amen. As he was that. Can I tell you something Christians Wakati utakapa palikiwa na mungu na kipawa Alavu wanze kuturingia hapa Hata kwa pristima utakuja Atuwane vile kutakua Can I tell you something Continue with that pride But in God's store Katika store ya mungu Kuna worshippers They are watching you God is ready to reach them Don't have the spirit of a righteous I am the only prophet who is remaining. What kind of a nonsense is that? We have so many prophets in God's kitchen. Elijah tia namambia pona na kakama tamutisha. Namambia mungu na ujue. I am the only remaining prophet. It is a lie. Na wakati utakapo joko na kipuri ni wakati unapo jiona ni wewe. Yani... Hapa githoraya kuna mtu mwingine Anaweza upili kama mimi Na kama siyo mimi ni kopale Pass Mungu hata shuka Can I tell you something? Imagine hata shuka tu Unajua kuna mapastas baka wanajipiga kifua Bishops Kwa sababu ukona lexa Ukona maproti 
unaangalia kanisa hivyo pande hii unaona watu 400 pande hii unaona thousand pande hii unaona 440 pande hii unaona priest and worship team 100 unasimama unajiona ni wewe tu baka ukifanya crusade mtu mwingine akifanya unaenda kwa madhabahu unasema can i tell you church as long as those people they don't inform me to the crusade god will never mind it that's nonsense na wakati utakapoona umefika to that level of that pride wewe na kulisha kuko karibu sana wakati unajiona ni wewe kama hii roho ya Elijah anasema na namwambia bwana i am the only prophet a a are you sure ha. mungu alimjipo na akamwambia namna gani i have how many prophets i have how many 7000 prophets can i tell you something in god kitchen of making a vessel that he want to use it to fulfill a mandate a certain mandate ah na kuambia Mungu ako na watu na hapa ndipo unaonanga kile nawaambia wachungaji wote huwa nawaombea nawaambia bila kuwaficha na praise team na watu wa keyboard na watu wa guitar mpaka wa camera wanasema sitakuja wacha watumie simu can i tell you something tutachukua nayo na Mungu ataonekana kwa sababu kile kinahitajika is the message not the camera hata wale wanatutasema online hawajui kama tunatumia Canon ama Panasonic and they don't know but as long as the message in aenda that is what they want ati hauta piga baka unatutisha ukikuja unakuja umecherewa kwa sababu wewe wa praise team umeinuliwa kiwango uko na sauti hakuna mwingine anaweza apundu kama wewe sasa unaanza hiyo pride mpaka unakuja umecherewa ipanda ikiisha unakutana na other, other person unauliza ipanda ilikuwaacha kama siku how was the worship by the way spiritual pride hallelujah kipuli na wakati niwaambie hapa wapendwa wakati utakapoona umeinuliwa sana unahubiri mpaka watu wanainuka na vitu wakiinua tu wakisema topoa pasta omba sana utakaposikia unaabudu mbigu inashuka pandao ya kipuri omba sana ongeza maombi Steve ukiona jainishi ya gai ni waje kwa batera ni waje kwa hiyo kiolero leoni ndio milioni 3 Tiga wete anyiha muno no hoe muno wakati utakaposema na fuatoa na 7 million people my friend Mungu amenituma usinione ni wakati unaisha Sema amen Spiritual pride iko na wakristo wengi sana 10 minutes iko na wakristo wengi sana wengi sana na niposa unaona mpaka kwa makanisa kwa sababu hawataka kufundisha this characteristic of us a uh, christian hizi tapia za wakristo kukoma kiroho pia na hizi tapia kwa sababu Mungu hawezi kuja as long as wewe ni mtu wa kibuli my friend utaomba miaka nenda miaka rudi na Mungu ajibu mpaka wakati utakapoondoa roho ya kipuri unyenyekee saidi ujione you are nothing kama Paul I count everything lost when I compare when you count everything lost I yani umebarikiwa tu kidogo tu na gari umeombewa hapa tukitasama kwa macho tunakuaminia Mungu atakupatia gari na kwa sababu ni mwaminivu tunaitana juu tunasema hawa watu Mungu wamechoka wanatembea na miguu kama mayongai uy maridikane unakubukwa wakati utakapoinunua hey wakati utakapoinunua baka pastor akikwambia si unipepea hawa wadada watatu niwekee pale lo isambu tuko na crusade mwambie pastor niko na my wife dani hiyo ha hiyo ni mwanzo wa kuanguka sema amen spiritual pride do you want to be exalted in life There is a mysteries that controls. Kuna mysteries 
zile ambazo sina control bwana asifiwe wakati Mungu aliponiinua kwa sababu saa hii amko mnaniona sana sana nilikuwa kazi nikaiacha kwa wale wameona tukikuja na maaskari hivyo ati nikiwa a kiongozi wao pale tunakuja tunafanya mambo tunaenda Moranga tunafanya tunaenda Rwai tunafanya nikaandika tu barua nikasema ah nao sasa nimeacha na siachi nika nikafanya biashara imagine ah mimi ama not a police officer so msenze kuogopa mimi sio police <coughs> it's only god by the god grace nikapatiwa tu kazi pale kadogo tu sana kakobali sana nikawa napata ka kitu kadogo lakini niliposema i don't want a uh, bishop akaniita si edward another bishop of mine there yule akoe in charge Aka, are you sure yes alafu nikamwambia na i want to go to serve god fure muna ni, na, nasikia nikizuiliwa nasikia kama nitambang i feel it's like i'm burning nimefungwa nasikia ni kama niko mateka pia mimi so what i've been doing nikaacha na nikamwambia i'm done so mtakuwa mnaniona sana sasa kwa sababu nilikombea mahali Mungu amenitoa na mahali amenifikisha na kuna karoka likuwa hapo ka pride nilikakemea kama kitu kingine kana kuja ga sasa ni masuit eh na kutembea na subsuta na security kama mbili hivi. Ah. Wacha niende nipata watu watano. By the way, we are starting a big church kitu of heaven at Muranga. A big one. Sema amen. A big one. Na hapo hakuna kitu kingine. It is the true of the word of God. Amen. Mimi sijui kuuza vibagio na mafuta, sijui kabla sija kupaka hiyo mafuta can i tell you something a prophecy that is not based with the word of god that is a comedy i will repeat again a prophecy that is not based with the word of god that is a comedy na hiyo ndio watu wanataka saa hii tukichukua speaker tatu hapa na my brothers na pianist tutoke pale kidorai la oda tuonge njiri vizuri na niupili Mungu ateremke. Alafu masangi akuje na nguo zake zikiwa zimeraduka. Utaona tofauti. Utauliza kwani ndani ameenda wapi? Anasikiza mazangi lakini masikio iko kule lakini anaona mazangi vile anafanya. Eh? Watu wao unaona ati ati pasta mkubwa anakuja kasarani na ni sande unapata wasirika kama 70 wamekosa kufika kwa kanisa kwao ati wameenda kwa nambi can i tell you something unaona huyo wako huyo die prophet wako usidanganywe the one who is serving you he is your prophet oh she huyo ni yeye ako na baraka zako the problem that we have we as christian instead of miracles signs and wonders for us we follow them but According to the Bible, what does the Bible talks about that? Signs and wonders are for who? Eh? They will for who? So, miracle signs and wonders they will for us. So tukisikia fulani ya Cosedium, si tunakimbia kwa sababu ya miracles. Na tujui wengine wao na kujanga na watu wao wagonjwa. Na kuja na kamutu kanaenda hivyo. Na kwa kona muti. Na huyo ni wakulipo wako kazi. Sasa pastor akiwa pale na wewe unaona kama anatumika sana na Mungu anasema ni leo watu watatembea nenda mlete viwete mpaka vizii watatembea watasikia leo in the mighty name of sema amen yani madoito mingi sana inafanywa kwa sababu yule mtu ni wakulipo anakuja na miti anakuja naye nabii anasema utatembea utatembea kanyanga moja kanyanga tu moja ya, ya pili eh, ya tatu haya anza ongeza ongeza oh. lakini wala wako wako gumetatia but no sio jenja shiama shiama fiosioka sinoka kasirio zioje 
ukariwa kai gaya gogo kita kuhani au kamo. Yani mungu alikuwa mekuja kuponya kamo jatu. Na wewe ukiona hivyo unasema wa munasomanga la vare deduand. Huyu dia maitoa. Munaenda kanisani kanaja ka lakini mungu ayuko. <laughs> Eza finish mubaji moja akaimba akasema orere ya muare gire muadhani mukemoka raria ende onoro mwenge sire megotigo dinguto no tugaga ne moengai no sikosi adima steady man ya dimerona wadhani ore ombere dali za kifungo inasomanga steve ate mwadire mukenzi